Hey everyone, it's Xenia from The Designist and today I'm here with something super amazing from our friend and a talented freelance illustrator, Milka. We'll bring you an essential skill. Um, basically, we'll try to make watercolor stroke brushes in Photoshop and use them for a palette, which is a brilliant element to decorate or complete your mood board, for example. First, you should draw these watercolor strokes, like we've prepared ours in advance. As they get dry, you should scan them with uh, 1200 dpi resolution for the highest quality, big size and proper detailization. After that, you should get rid of the paper texture. It can be easily done with the levels menu, follow image, adjustments, levels, or with the uh, command L. I recommend you to accustom yourself to using hotkeys if you don't yet, as they are a huge time saver. Well then, the left slider darkens the shadows, the middle slider is for the midtones, it renders your image either darker or lighter, and it depends on what image you are working with. And the light slider is for the highlights. That's the one we need, actually. As we pull it, we see the paper texture slowly vanish. Pay attention that not only paper texture disappears, but the brush texture as well. To avoid it, I pick the tone slider, slightly pull it to the right and press OK. You may have noticed some rubbish around the brush that we've got while scanning. You can either remove it with the eraser tool from the panel on the right or with the white color of the brush. You can find it on the same panel or just by clicking B button. Fine. Okay, so let's remove all the stuff so that later we had no problems with the selection. Otherwise, you risk to have them all in your brush. No ugly junk anymore. Do it gently. I don't like the stroke, so I'll remove it too. I'm done with it, finally, but you may notice we have some hairs with a brush here and here, and I'd remove them as well. Pick uh, the clone stamp tool or simply click S. To use uh, the clone stamp tool, you press Alt and click on the piece of your brush that has no imperfections to copy the texture and then apply it to the piece you'd like to fix. Keep doing so to have a super duper cool brush at the end. Your mom gonna be proud of you, I guess. Well, done. Now pick the polygonal lesser tool or click Alt and set the piece of your artwork you'd love to make a brush of. As you've noticed, I don't do it too neatly, and I was cleaning the background for that before, actually. Open Edit, Define Brush Preset to name your brush, press OK, and the brush is ready. Here I've prepared an image I've downloaded on unsplash.com, it's a great source of graphics, by the way and we'll prepare a palette for it. Open the brush settings and pick your brush. Here it is. It's vertical, yet the horizontal one would fit better. So you can rotate it here, as well as to edit its size. Okay, now. Keep out press to switch the color picker mode and um, Pick the color from the image, click, 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 next. We don't want all the strokes to look just the same, so I'll rotate the second one. It will look as if you used different brushes. Next color, this, this, rotate again. Oh, looks ugly. Let's try this. Mm -mm, no. Oh, 
that's pepper and the last color remember to rotate the brush from time to time the palette is ready all we should do is to align it we have the necessary tools on the top bar put it in the middle let's slightly so move it left Ta -da! here is our cute palette for the photo hope you've loved it and this skill will come in handy if you need help or advice just let me know and don't hesitate to like and share the video and subscribe to the designers channel as these guys have so much talent show bye